try to make this about boys. All right, so it's the day before youth day and we are going over here to a property that we have permission to turkey hunt. It's the only property we have permission to turkey hunt. Found a really good spot of public. Know there's turkeys on there. Marked all my access spots. Mom and dad still won't let me go because it can't hunt public, bottom line. So that means we only are stuck with this one really junky, like there's the long beards on it, like two times a year type of property. So a lot of the turkeys are across the creek. They're just gonna have to either happen to be in that woods or if you can somehow make them fly across the big field there or something, I don't know. If we kill a turkey there, we're gonna be extremely lucky. And also we can only bow hunt the property. So it's about a hundred acres and we can also hunt there for deer. So that's gonna be sweet that we can hunt there for deer. So we're going over there tonight, seeing if we can roost any birds, and um, hopefully it's not too late already. Hopefully we didn't miss any gobbling. If we hear any gobbling, that'll be a big win for me, even if it's not at the place that we can hunt, even if it's just out in the creek. It'll be nice to at least hear gobbles and uh, know that birds are active. So yeah, now we're going out the property and uh, see what we can hear. That's absolutely insane. We just got here to the property we can hunt. Didn't even stop, didn't even have to call. Pulled up here and I forgot this wheat field is here. As soon as I saw this wheat field, I was like, I bet there'd be turkeys in here in the morning or sometime around. There's literally a turkey out there right now. <laughs> Cody said he's seen turkeys there before, but I can't, I didn't remember that. Same, I didn't work on oh, okay. So when one time when Cody went by here, he had seen turkey. Was there a bunch? Yeah, there's like nine. Nine, dude. We can hunt. We're coming here in the morning. 100%. 100%. Uh, do it. Okay. We just got here to the spot that we were originally planning on coming here tonight. Um, I literally completely forgot about that creek bottom there and how that looks and that that's a wheat field. Um, there's also a wheat field here behind me. There could easily be turkeys out here in the morning too. Um, especially if that hen goes and roosts over there. I'm, it seemed like she was going to go roost probably somewhere down there. So I'm suggesting either setting up in that field back there or down to that bottom field, maybe on the other side of that thing. So we know there should at least be one turkey roosted here in the morning. I really don't know about any gobblers. That hen was by herself. There might be gobblers that come through the creek bottom in the morning. There might be some right back here tonight, right now. So we're just gonna listen here till dark, see if we can hear any gobbles anywhere, and then uh, get a game plan together for the morning. There's, would they be around a pond at all? <laughs> see, that's a smaller creek running through there. So we've seen turkeys, we're gonna drop a pin there. Hey, hey, hey. Money. Back there, back there. I just heard a gobble. There's no way. He was over there. I heard that too. At first, I found the trampoline. Here comes a car. He hammered back there though. He, he was back out, so I had to... It's really calm out here, but he was probably still... He was definitely a couple hundred yards away. There's also a bunch of deer out here too that were just watching. Okay, so if he was down this... If he was down this way, that means the closest place that he's gonna cross over is down there by that yeah. field, by that creek. So I'm guessing tomorrow morning, if we tree up and stuff, cause it sounded, I couldn't tell, he was somewhere over in this area. There's wheat field on both sides, so they could be on either side of the pasture. I think they are gonna have to fly over that fence to get over, I think. But if I'm down here in the wheat field down here and he flies off, we should be able to at least maybe see him if he works his way down here. Ideally, I would hear one back, back there on this side of the property, on the property that we can hunt, but, but we haven't heard any yet and they often, roost down here up on this creek so i'm sure they're on the limb by now because it's so dark but it doesn't look dark it doesn't look dark on no. the camera so the game plan for the morning i'm just going to come down here see if i can hear anything if i can't hear anything um since we know we have one down here i'm just going to set up down there in that wheat field and hope that throughout the morning he works his way across i've never killed a turkey before at all so to do one with a bow cody has to work tomorrow so i'm going to be by myself self-filming kill one with a bow off the ground, no blind. It's gonna be hard if it comes together. I'm just gonna try to build my own blind in the morning. Uh, gonna cut off some sticks, build a blind right on the edge. Super nice to know that we got gobblers that are potentially in the play for tomorrow, so. 
tomorrow should be a good day. Here we go. Should hear some gobbles tomorrow. I'm so tired. It's so early right now. Got to bed at like 11 o'clock. Make sure I had everything together. Couldn't fall asleep for like half an hour. And then I woke up at 3.15 and couldn't sleep for the last hour. I was planning on getting up at 4.15, so I didn't sleep for the last hour. So I only slept for like three hours. I'm tired. Bye bye, see you later when I have a turkey. some ducks, not the target species. I haven't heard anything so far. There might have been turkeys responding to that, but just with how loud it is right here where I'm at, there's a creek behind me. Like a generator type of thing running over here and sizzling electric lines on this side so if one would gobble outside of like 150 200 yards i probably wouldn't hear it so just because i'm not hearing them doesn't mean that they're not there I did a little fly down with my hat. 
um, nothing too serious. But, but then I still had that camera in my hand, thankfully, because then I could get some good, really cool footage. But all of a sudden, I just saw this turkey pitch down out into the field. And I figured they would probably fly down into this field somewhere along here if there's any roosted here. I didn't know if there was. Last night we saw a hen walking in the wheat field that's about 100 yards from here. And she was walking this way. She was probably 200 yards away from here, working her way this way to the edge of the field. I figured she'd either be roosted in some trees up there closer to the road or back here behind me. And apparently she was roosted by here, right here behind me. I must have been set up probably within 50 yards of her roost tree. It's too bad that she was by herself. Um, she would have been with a long beard or if there were, if she would have, would have been a long beard, I would have had probably about a 30 yard job. Would have been tough to me. That's funny. There's a strutter. Strutter in the field, boys. Strutter in the field. He gobbled there, I couldn't even hear it. He is fired up.
got a paintbrush. So this right here is my setup. I built this little brush pile around it and then all the turkeys were out here in the fields, um, actually on this side. I really don't like how I can't hear anything from here other than just noise, white noise. Um, so I'm gonna get up and move. I'm gonna be walking up this way, maybe down the fence. I'll just see if I can track something up. I also kind of want to just get to know this property a little bit better and uh, see what else is here on this property. So if I don't strike anything up this way, I'm gonna probably take everything back to the car, drive across the creek, drive down the road a little bit, and then hop out, and then I'll be on the other side of the creek, and I can uh, see if I can strike up anything out across the creek. So 
they made it the whole way up here. This is the direction they were both headed, and I was so bad I had a Reaper decoy. I bet I could reap that thing so easily because other than that, I'm with a bow. I'm gonna try something. I don't have a Reaper decoy. I don't know of anybody that has a Reaper decoy. This right here is the absolute perfect setup to reap a turkey. He's out there in the field, he's got a hen. I'm almost sure that that's the same tom and hen that I saw earlier in the morning. on those turkeys. It's gonna be really, really tough to actually kill them. I think they're just around that point and they might be in the woods by now too. So I'm guessing he's not gonna gobble because he's got that in. So it's gonna make it hard to know where they're at exactly. It's gonna be hard to sneak all the way up there. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for today. I did a quick stalk on those turkeys and they ended up seeing me. Last time I saw them, they were out in the open. They were headed in here, but they were behind some logs for me. I, they were like 50 yards when they saw me. I just saw the one run in here. It wasn't strutting. The tom last I saw it was strutting, but they're back in here. I think I heard him gobble once and he was like further back, but I tried calling and stuff and he wouldn't answer. I figured he probably wouldn't answer just because he has a hen with him. <sighs> Fun hunt, exciting day, and uh, I guess that's all for this video. And then, so I guess that's all for now. And I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill me a turkey yet this year, so just wait, and uh, we'll do it. Here we go. Let's go! That's too easy. 636. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even sunrise yet. Yeah, I know. Goodness gracious.